folks. It is K Spade, the prospect. I am back tonight with a brand new NCAA football Miami Hurricane Dynasty video. We are at the end of the regular season, folks. And as you can see, we are second in the ACC on the coastal side. We got a six and one conference record. The number one team, the Yellow Jackets, we gave them that work when we played them. So we finished the regular season with the same conference schedule. We up in there, man. We in there like swimwear. But I'm jumping ahead. Today we got to deal with Pitt. And when you talk about Pitt, you have to talk about wide receiver Tyler Boyd. I got that in the back of my mind coming into this game. You know Mark Rick out there telling his secondary, whatever you do, keep an eye on Boyd. Don't let him get loose. Enough of that. Let's get to the game, man. Miami got the ball first. Brad Kaya has kind of been struggling as of late. Now, this is the last game of the regular season. Look at this interception right here. Damn. You don't get me wrong, man. Brad Kaya has been pretty much throwing one pick a game. Some of them not his fault. Some of them my fault. But he's throwing a pick a game. But right there, the receiver was open. That defensive back broke off of his assignment. And just made an amazing play. I mean, who knew Dion was out here in a pit uniform? I, that's not a play you expect these guys to make. Anyway, like I said, this is the regular, this is the last game of the regular season before we get into the conference championships. And I have to admit, the Kane's offense has kind of tapered off. At some points, a high-powered looking offense. I talked right over that fumble. Want me to tell you why? Because they challenged it and said the receiver's knee was down. Let me see. Is it down? Hello? Hello? I couldn't even see it, but they say it is. It don't make a, it don't make a point to argue. So you know, Pitt gets it back. They have the ball inside the red zone. I need my defense to make a play on third and eight, and they do. They come through. That's that bend, but don't break. So we're gonna give up the field goal, but nothing anymore. I need my offense to kind of get it going. Like I don't want to go into the bowl season slumping. And that's what I feel like we're doing right now. But look at Joseph Yearby, yo. Yearby has told me, you know what, coach? Next season, I'm the guy. A lot of you guys are telling me, play Yearby, play Yearby. Yearby's the starter in real life. I don't even know if that's been confirmed yet for this season. But these rosters are basically the season that already passed, like last season. And Yearby played because Gus was hurt. So, I mean, Gus is back. I'm letting Gus get it in right here. Kane's in the red zone, man. Speaking of Gus, Gus gets in the end zone right here. Tell you, it's all up. Y'all already know. So check this out. 7-3, Kane's respond. We're still ranked number 16 overall. People don't really believe us. Like, we're here, but they don't believe us. We need a very decisive win, and it would be good for us to get this win and shut down Tyler Boyd. That'll send a message to the rest of the NCAA that we are for real. We ought to be taking for real. We eating out here, man. We eating. Second and 12, man. Got a little bit of time in the pocket. Quarterback tried to scramble, though, man. You better look downfield and throw a pass, bro. This running around on my defense, that ain't the move. Second down, they go for the run. Pretty good pickup. The running back was fighting forward. Puts the pill on the turf. Corn Elder with the scoop over there. We all hype. We celebrating. But guess what? They challenged it and said the knee was down. Boy, I tell you, man. Even the officials, they just don't like the Kings. On third and short, Chris James, I'm not really sure how he was able to fall forward, but he did. Fell forward, moved the chains. Another third down later in that drive right here. Pitt drops back. Just dink it to a guy wide open. Just found a hole in the zone. For the duration of this entire game, Pitt had something special on third downs. They just had enough. Third and short right here. And finally, the Canes make a play. So we're going to hold Pitt to another field goal. We still letting those guys get way too deep in Miami territory. I'm showing you guys another kickoff. That must mean Joseph Yearby going to give me something back there. Joseph, great blocking. He really didn't have to do much. Cut it outside. Pretty good return, about 40 yards from that kick return to get a Canes excellent starting position on the field. Hurt Waters with a reception right here going to get us close to the first down marker. Now, it is third and short. Brad Kaya goes pitch. Gus can't get to the outside. He is brought down with no yardage gain. And the Canes got to plan it out. This is not the message I want to send. Deion Bush lowering the boom right here on Chris James. Get on the ground, boy. Get on the ground. Third and 10. Third down. Like I said, they got something special on third down. It works here again. That's a first down pickup. They moving the chains again. They just moving the chains. I can dig it. Later in that drive, here's another third. They've been kind of getting it in on us on third down. 
Quarterback dropping back, surveying the field. Big Calvin Hurt put the pressure on him. He know what to do, man. I call that dude the Big Hurt, like they used to call Frank Thomas back in the day. Second and long, man. It's only 30 seconds before the half. Brad Kaya has his eyes way downfield. He's not able to get the pass off before he is sacked. But Kaya must have saw something. Getting the guys back to the line of scrimmage. Rushing them back. That clock is ticking. It's 20 seconds on the clock. Kaya in the gun. Surveys the field one last time. Takes the snap. Delivers a strike down the seams. Hit Herb Waters. Herb is on it. Pushing, running the 20, to 15, to 10, to 5. And he is caught right before he gets into the end zone. About five seconds on the clock. Mark Rick said, get us in that damn end zone. And we get in there, man. Walter Tucker, the fullback, gets in on the short keeper right there. A little short run. Beautiful. So the Kings have a 14-6 lead going into the half. It hasn't all been pretty. But hopefully, Kaya's got it going. Now, Kaya has struggled these last two games, y'all. Like, I don't know what's going on out here. Second half action, man. Deion Bush is out here playing for keeps, you dig? The man is playing for keeps. Chris James is shaking up on the play. He's going to be taken out of the game. Third and 14. Corn Elder was right there trying to get an interception. Big time catch. That's another first down. Later in that drive, it's another third. Third and 12, look at this. Oh my God, what a pass to the sideline. The receiver gets a foot in. That's all you gotta do in college. One foot in, that's a first and 10, and the drive continues. You can see right here, James is gonna be out for the remainder of the game. He, you know, on the concussion protocol, man. You gotta get him out of here. We wanna make sure these kids are safe. Deion Bush don't care about their safety though. He just don't. Third and six. Third down, you know what happens. They move the chains again. Dante has four. What's so frustrating is we we really was looking for Boyd. And they was going everywhere but Boyd. But right here they went to Corn Elder. Well, you know, they wasn't throwing the corn. But Corn just made an amazing play. Big time pickoff. The Kings offense back on the field. Gus looking like he ready to start that bus. That's a strong run right there. 11 yards on the carry. First and 10 Miami. Third down, they got a pass. This is where things haven't always been great, but right here, Herb was just chilling. Like, I don't know, how do you forget the guy that just torched you the end of the uh, first half? How do you let him get that open? Herb was chilling. Brad Kaya did have enough time, thanks to the offensive line, to kind of work through progressions and find her. The Canes are faced with a third and seven. They go screen and look at the big hog Molly. That dude was on Gus' ass like back pockets. He was on his back like a shirt. He was on his heels like a sock. He was on, all right, y'all get the point. He was there. 48 yard field goal attempt for the Canes. The kick is up. It was aimed right, just not quite enough on it. It falls short, folks. Five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Pit back on the field. You see some jawing between some of the pit players and the Miami players. It's third and 10. You want to guess what happened? They pick up another third down. Oh my God, yo, this was so, it was so weird. I was like, how do they keep doing this? First and 10, man, they go with the keeper and this time it is working. They got a receiver over there blocking like his life depends on it. Big time pickup, about a 20 yard pickup on the quarterback keeper on the read option. You go play action after right, after that play, quick pass in the flats to Paris. My tackling sucks. He gets into the end zone, 24 yard reception by Jamar Paris, the tight end. You know what else they're gonna do right here? They're going to go for two. They're gonna convert the two point conversion, folks. A game that Miami looked like they had in the bag. They are tied with three minutes remaining in the game. We definitely, definitely need a score here. And I ain't talking three. We need a score. Give it to Gus. Gus, get something going for us. Great block, great vision, and the stiff arm. Boom. Get that boy to Heisman. First and 10 a little bit later, man. Yearby gets in the end zone. That's what he does, right? Yearby is exactly like Ishak Sharp used to be in my Raider dynasty. Latavius do all that hard work. We get in the red zone. Ishak said, all right, time to be great. Get in the game and steal that man, TD. I love it. Defense, we need you guys. It's a minute and some change remaining on the clock. Seven point game. Pitt has been making big plays on this secondary all day, especially on third down. We need somebody to make a play. Second and short. Pocket kind of collapsing on the quarterback. He goes down. That's the big hurt again, man. The big hurt right up the gut, making a play. 
Third and seven, though. They go screen. The block set up nice. And oh my goodness, look at this huge pickup. Where was the game? Somebody get over there and make a play. First and 10, man, passing. The pressure gets there, but he hangs in there. Delivers a beautiful strike to a receiver in a little small opening in the zone. It was so tiny. On the 30 seconds remaining, man, the big hurt. Get back there and make a play. Quarterback sacked again. What is that? Third or fourth time so far this game. Like the defense, the front four is trying to get the pressure there. It's just when they don't get to him, it's usually a completion, with the exception of that one corn elder INT. Third and eight. The big hurt knocking his feet from up under. Get on the ground, boy. That's a huge play right there. Pitt uses their last timeout. It is five seconds on the clock. It is fourth and 14. They absolutely have to get a first down, which is around the three or four yard line. They don't have to score. They have to get a first down, and then, you know, the clock is stop until they get to the line of scrimmage. If it's some time, but he goes down. He is sacked again, and, folks, we can get up out of here again. It's not pretty. We focused so hard on shutting down Tyler Boyd. He only had 11 yards receiving, but the rest of the team torched us. In this situation, I think we focused too hard on Tyler Boyd. Like, we worked so hard to stop him that we almost got gashed up by the rest of the team. This one right here wasn't pretty, man, but they told me a good team will find a way to win the ugly ones, too. So we're going to celebrate anyway. We're going to celebrate anyway. Anyway, folks, that is all I got for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show me some love, man. Let me get that thumbs up, and I'm out the next time, folks. Peace.